No, I get to Cal State Long Beach, a um, little lost. It's like, okay, like I said, no artists I know are making a living doing this, but at the same time, I realized I had to do it. It was a very politically charged atmosphere at the time. We are talking about the late 60s, early 70s. Mm-hmm. Um, my first experience uh, in the art department, I went to sign up for a painting class, and the painting teacher said, there's not enough room in my class for you. Ooh. So what we're going to do is we're going to put you in this classroom across the hall, and I'll come check on you. Oh, wow. And you by yourself? I was by myself. Wow. You know, at the time, um, there were only, I think, six African Americans in the art department. There was Greg Pitts, uh, Milton Lupe, David Ferguson, Cecil's brother, uh, Denise Palm, and a guy named Alfonso Baums, and myself. And we had petitioned the chair of the art department to have a class in African American art. And he said, there is no such thing. He said, it's covered in primitive art. Primitive art. I said, there's nothing primitive about what we're doing. And it it just, you know, it called attention to a much larger conversation that was happening on the campus at the time, uh, where they were actually talking about dismantling the African American studies department. And, you know, we as uh, the BSU figured, we've got to take some sort of action behind this. One of the... the, um, things that we did was we decided to go and check out every book that we could at the library. And so in some instances, those shelves were bare. And we made the statement, said, if we can't get the education we need to get, nobody's going to get it. Interesting. And it was, it was a very nonviolent, but at the same time, very effective way of getting policy changed. So one response was they actually gave in to some of the yeah. requests. Yeah. I see. So the Black Studies Department became the sacred cow. You're not going to touch that. I, mean, that's, I think that's great. 